In this video, we'll be seeing a numerical problem, a working problem on domain and range of a relation. We have already studied the concept of domain and range in the previous video and we also have the knowledge as to what is a relation because we have seen the video on that too. Now, let's see the working problem based on domain and range. Let's see what the question has to do. Let R be the relation defined on the set of natural numbers. I'll underline natural numbers because it is important for the sake of the question solving purpose. And it is defined as R x y such that x belongs to natural numbers n and y also belongs to natural numbers n. And we have something as x plus y is equal to 40. Okay, this is important for the sake of solving. Also, I need to find the domain and the range of a relation with this knowledge of mine with the questions help also. Let's see. I have the relation as x plus y is equal to 40. I'll be writing it again. x plus y is equal to 40. Now, what do I have to do? I have to take up different different values of natural numbers accordingly where x is n, y is n. Now, what do I need? I need domain and range. And what do I know? I know that natural numbers start from 1 and so on. So, the counting starts from 1. Right. The, uh, the sum has to be 40. I take up different different values of x and get different different values of y. Supposedly, put x is equal to 1. If I put x is equal to 1, what is y? y is nothing but 40 minus 1 which is 39. Similarly, if I put x is equal to 2, what is y? y is 40 minus 2 which is 38. And so on, I can obtain different values of y from different values of x. Let's say this happens as x is 38, then what is y? y is nothing but 40 minus x, that is 40 minus 38, which gives me 2. Similarly, when x is 39, what is y? y is equal to 40 minus 39, which is equal to 1. Let's move on further and see what happens. If I put x is equal to 40, then what is y? y is nothing but 40 minus x, that means 40 minus 40, which is 0. And is a 0 a natural number? No, because 0 does not belong to n. So, I can say that I cannot put this condition. This statement should not be in the solution. So, I have to carry on till here. That means I have to take my values of x from 1, 2, 3 till 39. And correspondingly, I will get values of y from 39, 38, 37 till 2 and 1. Let's write it in ordered pair form. So, I have xy is equal to what? Let's see. It can be 1, then 39. 1 is my x, 39 is my y. Similarly, when x is 2, y is 38. Similarly, when x is 39, y is 1. And so on, we can move further. Let's see. 1, 39, 2, 38. And this condition continues to our last 39, 1. 39, 1. Now, 39, 1 is the last ordered pair. Now let's see what the question says. The question did not ask me to find relation. The question indeed asked me to find domain and range of R. Okay, if this is my R, let's see what is the domain. The domain is the set of first values of any relation. So the first values of ordered pair, the first value of ordered pair would be 1, 2 and so on till 39. So I write 1, 2, 3 and so on till 
39 this is my domain but I don't have only to find domain I also have to find range so I write range and let's see what is range equal to range is equal to the set of second values of any ordered pairs the set of second values that means I have to find the set of 39 38 and so on till 1 so it will be nothing but 39 38 37 36 and so on up till 1 this is the decreasing order and I know as per my knowledge of sets from class 11th that in the set the order of the elements is immaterial you can anyways arrange it the order doesn't matter so it is also equal to 1 2 and so on till 39 because I know that if I write the elements in the decreasing order or if I write the elements in increasing order the order does not matter for a set now what do we note we observe that this 1 2 3 till 39 is basically equal to here that is 1 2 3 till 39 so in this question domain is actually equal to range so in this relation I have found out domain actually equal to range and what was it it was nothing but a set 1 2 3 till 39 so this was a sample problem on the concept of domain and range which we started in the previous video too.